be on our way to the hide at the water hole. Oh, the water hole hide, or whatever we call it. That's uh, Halali. Halali. Last night there were six rhino down here, black rhino. So today, we're hoping what for seven. <laughs> Something. Uh, yeah. And there was a hyena as well, eh? Yep. This is a water hole at Halali. Uh, this is where we saw the six rhino last night. Just give you a quick look around. What it's all about. Anything you've got to watch out here for is the mosquitoes. Lots and lots of mosquitoes. That's the seating area on the left hand side. The water hole down there. This is a little bit of shade, shelter as you come into the hide. Hard to be us on the pan. We've driven driven down onto the pan. It's an absolutely huge sp space of nothing. You can see it just goes forever and ever. This is our campsite in the Matoni. Nice grassed area under a nice tree, hopefully for the rest of the day. I think we're going to get the sun here this afternoon. We might have to stick our awning out. We saw quite a few animals coming in. A rhino, what? Uh, Hemsbok, hard to be a zebra, lots of springbuck. So this side seems to be a bit more alive than the other side. And this is a shop at Namatoni. And next door to it, there's a restaurant. Swimming pool. This is the garden area or whatever you would call it, up near the swimming pool, shop, restaurant, nicely grass. This 
the ablutions at Namatani. Men's toilet. Wash basins. All looks clean. Not quite sure how well the showers work. We'll know tonight. Yes. Hello, Mr. Mongoose. Come on. Black-faced Impala. The one and only elephant that we've seen in the park. Up at Namatoni. Long way away at the moment. Black rhino coming down to drink. A lot of impala coming in there. Eh? Mm. Sure. All the black faced impala that were as we were coming up. Oh, what's happened now? I'm going to finish my card. Oh no, I haven't. A big herd of springbuck waiting to cross the road. Trying to take a drive along the edge of the pan here to see if we can get close to the flamingos. There are so many here, but of course they are all. You can only see them with binoculars, but there are piles and piles and piles of them. It would be so nice if you could get close to them.
male lion here looks like he's going into the hunt here or he's hunting there's a wildebeest further down The cheetah that we watched yesterday hunting, not quite sure where her two cubs are. Hopefully we can see them as well. Marshall Eagle's got a a young flamingo. Can't fly with it. Into the campsite at Namatoni. This morning we've had a good sighting of a male lion trying to do a bit of a hunt and then we saw a single cheetah and then after that we saw cheetah and two cubs at a distance and then we went on the Fisher Pan Road and we saw a martial eagle that had caught a flamingo. flamingo. Chick. Chick, yeah, young flamingo. <laughs> Come by my toes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened to your leg, little bird? Mm -hmm. What happened to your leg? Oh, what happened to his leg? Was he in a fight? Hmm? Was he in a fight? Hey, Dad, was he in a fight? Hmm? Don't drop in here. <laughs> oh, I'm watching you. <laughs> Come on. Hey. There's some lions here, there's a female there, evidently there's two cubs, I haven't seen them yet, I've seen the male lying underneath another tree. They're going to go into the pan, I think, which is further away. Mm. 
And there's another one still. One, two, three, four. There's five. Five, six. There's six. Sorry, recount. There's eight. So there's seven females. and one male. The other two are nearly on the on the pan. There's still four here. Yeah. Sorry, recount again. There's nine. So I think there's seven big females and two sub-adults. Sub they have to eat every day. Oh yeah. There's the male there lying tucked under that tree right in the shade. So there are two big males in this pride. We keep on getting our count wrong. There's the one lioness. Far down, I don't know whether you can see him. Her. Her. And there's a zebra up here behind the bush in front of us. Right, they made the zebra kill. The zebra was limping. limping. Oh, look at his legs sticking up. Oh my gosh. Is that the male that's there? Yeah, the male's there. Very well. cheek. He didn't even help. Maybe that was the other male. It's the one.
morning. Yeah. Good we morning, a, Mrs. Douglas. <laughs> we had a good day yesterday. Um, first morning. Line, male line. Yeah, at, first saw a male line at Plain Number Tony uh, Waterhole. And then he half heartedly chased a wildebeest. Um, beautiful young male, really good looking. And then we went down to see if the mom cheetah and her two cubs were there. Um, and they were, and then there was a, another adult cheetah there as well. So that was nice, so we watched them for a while. Um, then we started going around Fisher Pan and we saw a Marshall Eagle um, right in the mud with a, what we thought was a baby flamingo because there's tons of flamingos around and as we got there and tried to set our camera up the Marshall Eagle went behind our car she couldn't fly with the chick. It wasn't a Marshall Eagle it was a, a, a young a blue crane eh? Yeah it wasn't a... a you heard a, afterwards then? Eh? It wasn't a flamingo it was a blue, a blue crane, a baby blue crane. And what had happened was um, the guys, some guys in the camp from Namibia, we passed them with a net. They had a net and we sort of wondered what they were doing. Anyway, later on we asked them and they said it was a blue crane that they were trying to ring, um, but the Marshall Eagle got hold of it. Um, anyway, couldn't carry it up into the tree, and then when we came back, the marshal was up the tree, but the, we couldn't see the blue crane. Um, then we came back for lunch, and then as we drove out in the afternoon, one of the guards said to us, Oh, there's lions on Fisher Pan, the other side. So we went down that way, and lo and behold, there were 11 lions and the one female got up and walked and walked and walked and walked probably about a k and a half and we thought she was just going down to the pan and the others just sat and watched her and watched her and it was early in the afternoon it was just after three so it was surprising that they were all up um, but she went down and then um, we decided to carry on and then as we got a little bit further down we saw her crouch down and then we looked and we saw a zebra limping along and she waited for the zebra to pass her and then got up and chased her right into the whole pride so it was chaotic and we watched the whole thing um, didn't get it dead on camera but of course it yeah. happened too quickly i had a reverse and it was all just too quick you <laughs> it's hard yeah, to get a kill. It was trying, we were trying but we have, to go back. We have the action in our in our minds. Yeah, eh? balance it and it was just too quick. So we didn't get it on film. But then we went back to the cheetah and they were also the mom was flat on the ground stalking a springbok, the one and only springbok in, in that area. And um there were two jackal around and of course they were harassing and they the, must have gone up to the baby the young, the cubs, young eh? cubs that were away from the mom and the cubs decided to give chase to the jackal and upset the springbok who ran away and mom wasn't very happy with the kids so she stormed off and you could hear her meowing to them and saying come on hurry up hurry up hurry up <laughs> And she walked off across the road, drank some water, and down to the pan. That was the end of the good day. Yeah, it was a good day. And then we finished off up at Clay Number Tony with some beautiful light on the zebras, um, giraffe drinking, um, stunning, very, very nice. So, looking forward to today. First sighting of the day. Whoops. Four quarry busters together this morning.
sitting down on the side of the road. These two cubs are just waiting for instructions. This is part of Fisher Pan. Closer to Namatoni, there's water on the pan. We've seen two elephant on the Fisher Pan road. This is a road across Fisher Pan, crosses over the pan. The left hand side is still wet. You can see the elephants have been walking down the road here. Evidently there was a herd of plus minus 40 in the area, but they've all disappeared into the bush. Starting to look like we normally see it. A lot more zebra around.
I've seen 36 giraffe in the last half hour. Pork steak, mushrooms, onions and barbecue sauce and then mozzarella on top of it. And yeah. How are the elephants today? Sure. They were so nice. I mean I didn't think Itosha had elephants anymore but the about twenty five came out the bush today. It was very nice. Yeah. And then this afternoon we saw 36 giraffe in half an, hour. half an hour. It was like somebody had opened the cage and let them let all, all out. Let all the giraffes out. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. How good is Pizza that? In the bush. Taste great. Just stop for a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits along the way back to Akakuya. We haven't seen anything exciting apart from those uh, three, uh, not pelicans, what are they? Flamingos. Flamingos, that's it. Three young flamingos. Uh, that have probably got lost from the thousands that are on the can. It's actually probably millions, millions, not thousands. But you can't get close to them, unfortunately.
and of course our stone grinders worked so well eh so far so good you want to say mrs douglas what would you like me to say <laughs> what if... was really great now my tiny is the best camping sat in Natasha. The ablutions are clean, it's grassed, the guys do their maintenance. Everybody gets paid for maintenance, but the only people that do this, number Tony. And they're so pleasant, eh? And they're happy to see you, they're very pleasant, they go out of their way to help you. The bins, the wheelie bins are cleaned every day. Okakoya, they never clean them once while we were there, but they scratched in them and took out anything that um, was Bottles wanted. and whatever, yeah. yeah. There's a big herd of zebra coming in now. This has changed in a week. We were here a week ago. Nothing like this. Even the background, you can see the grass on the, the stones. Grass is gone. It's gone because of the amount of animals coming in. Yeah. So it's a big change, yeah. A good couple of hundred, I would think, come down there. Eh? 